and uh, welcome to another episode of Think, Make, Innovate. I'm Jason Marshall. I'm Amber Bridge. And in today's episode, we're going to do a little 3D printing. Uh, this is our 3D printer here, uh, MakerBot Replicator 2. Uh, we'll, we'll have another video that shows a little bit more about that. Um, specifically, our activity today is um, one about imagination. Uh, we are working with a group of first graders uh, in Miss Manos's class at North Lynn Elementary School. Yeah, one of the most awesome things about a 3D printer is that it can bring any idea to life. And so we were able to actually have students design something, send it to our 3D printer, and that's actually what's printing out behind us. Yeah, and specifically what we're doing is a kind of take on Mr. Potato Head. Did you have a Mr. Potato Head when you were a kid? You know, I didn't. I missed I, out on that. I, I think I had one, or maybe there's someone, one of my grandmas or something, but they were a plastic head and you put the pieces in them, you made a face. But interestingly enough, the first Mr. Potato Heads, actually you just used real vegetables and then put the pieces in. And very similar to what we're gonna do today, we found an activity on Instructables uh, called Hack Your Vegetables. And we had the kids at North Lynn uh, design car parts, wheels, etc., that they're gonna put in the vegetables to make their vegetables into automobiles. To spark this idea with the students, we actually had Mrs. Manos read a book, If I Built a Car, by Chris Van Dusen, to help get them thinking about how they could design their own car using any part of their imagination. Yeah, they did a really great job. They uh, they sketched out kind of what they wanted to do. They had a lot of uh, outside the box ideas on what a car should be. They were very creative. For I sure. can't wait till you guys see it. Um, they, uh, we did bring in, we used an iPad app uh, from Autodesk, uh, uh, one, uh, one, two, three, design, D, yeah. D design, mm -hmm. um, which we'll, again, we'll link that on, uh, on the resource page. But uh, we had some students from North Lynn's drafting class come in and help the kids take their sketches and put them into a digital format that we could print. Yeah. What's really going to be interesting to see how this all progresses is we let the students choose their own vegetable that's going to be the base of their car in which they're going to attach all of their 3D printed parts to. We've got everything from broccoli to carrots. It's going to be really interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I might bring some ranch. Worst case scenario, you know, <laughs> we'll have a healthy snack or something. So Excellent. So keep watching the episode and check out the progress that the Northland first graders do to think, make, and innovate. So what vegetables that do you guys have? A cucumber. A cucumber. Okay, what's that in the back? It has a rocket. Um, it's a Colton. It's a what? A rocket. A rocket, all right. And you have wheels on there? All right. Wheels, what do you think would make those wheels a little bit better? Do you think they're okay? What do you think? They could go in a little farther? Yeah. What? How about the size? Me? What's that again? Okay, good. They might like, they might maybe have wings so they could um, act like they're flying. So you think maybe if you had some wings, that'd be good? Okay. So, you guys originally had carrots and celery. Why didn't those work very good? Um, because it was broke. It it was, broke. Yours broke? How about the carrot? Why didn't that work very good? Because it's too thin. It's too thin, right? Yeah, Okay, okay, good, good. So do you think you probably need to have a bigger vegetable, kind of like the 
kind of like the cucumber. That works best. Okay, good. All right. First question for you, what vegetable are you using? Squash. Squash. Okay. What do you think, to make that work a little better, I see you have different sizes of wheels. What size of wheels works better, bigger ones or small ones? The bigger wheels work better? Okay, all right. So can you hold that up for me? All right, can you tell me what are those things on the back that are orange? Rocket boosters. Rocket boosters? And what's that on top, the white thing? A telescope. What kind of scope is it? A telescope? Like a periscope, maybe? Periscope. Periscope, like on a submarine? Where'd, where'd you guys get the idea for a periscope? Oh, did that book have a periscope in the car? Good. Okay. What vegetable do you guys have? Pepper. Pepper? How did it work? It kind of broke when you poked the wheels through? Okay. Does it, is it kind of too tall? Do you think maybe if it was longer, it would be a little easier? Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you try any other vegetables? Which ones? The carrot. The carrot broke? Was it too was it too skinny? Yeah. Okay. So we kinda need a thick vegetable to work, huh? Alright. What kind of vegetable are you using? Eggplant. Eggplant. Have you guys ever had eggplant? No. I think I had it once. I don't know. Do you like it? No. You don't? No, okay. Alright, so now you tried what else did you try besides an eggplant? A carrot. Carrot. Why why didn't the carrot work? Because it's so hard. It's, it's hard. So it's too skinny, and it could have snapped. It's all good observations. So, you think a bigger vegetable kind of works well? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Do you think it would work better having maybe bigger wheels or something? Yeah. So, because it's kind of a thick vegetable and might need bigger wheels? Okay. One big one. What's that, what's that do you have on top? It's the rocket booster. Is there anything else you'd like to have to put on there? Yeah. What What would you like to have? A bigger booster. A bigger booster? What else? Oh, okay. All right. I think you guys did a really good job with that.